Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. Aries, this is your um, mid-monthly reading for August, so this is August, for August 15th to the 31st, 2021. Aries, I got messages for you. Um, the first message is, um, some of you guys may get, like, experience, like, some neck pain, like a crook in your neck, like, out of the blue. Um... I just got finished doing, um, who read it? Pisces. I just got finished doing Pisces reading and I was fine. Soon as I tapped into y'all energy Aries, my neck started hurting. It's like I almost couldn't even move my neck. Um, so some of you guys might experience that like out of the blue. Um, don't panic. It's going to go away. You might have to, you know, just move your neck a little bit. And as well, I heard, don't forget the babies. Don't forget about the babies. Like, pay attention to the babies. So, Aries, I don't know whether you male or female, whether you're a mother or a father. Specifically for mothers, though. Um, that neck crook, I felt, is probably not for, like, you. It could be, like, your child. You could have a newborn baby, an infant. And, like, your baby probably, like, out of the blue start crying, become inconsolable. And it could be, like, something as simple as they got a crook in their neck. Because I heard, like, as soon as my neck started hurting, I heard, don't forget the babies. Like, pay attention to the babies. So, that could be going on if you got a newborn, like, a newborn child. Um, you could be thinking the worst. Like, you could be thinking they got colic or COVID or cold. No, it's, I, I think... For some of y'all, it's like y'all newborns, y'all babies. They got a crook in their neck. And it's like they can't talk, so they can't tell you that. So I'm also picking up two. That could be preventable. So just pay attention to y'all newborn babies, like the infants, kids. Like that's, you know, in the stages, they can't talk. So just pay attention to how you, you know, your, your baby's sleeping. As well, how they're positioned in the car seat as well. To avoid that. Because your baby could just have a crook in their neck. But it's like a newborn baby. You wouldn't think a newborn baby got a crook in their neck. But you know. They still human. They can get a crook in their neck. So if that do happen. If you decide to call the, to call the pediatrician. If that happened. Like your baby just start getting crank, cranky for no reason. You may want to ask the pediatrician about that. Like what would they what would they recommend if that's the case like what would your pediatrician recommend for you to do if your child if you su suspect that your child has a crook in their neck like your newborn baby or an infant like what what would they suggest to you to do what is their suggestions so i'm gonna go ahead and jump right in i have uh my uh device is giving me 22 minutes to do y'all reading so Aries, if um, if I don't fi finish y'all reading in, in the 22 minutes, y'all just going to have a part two. So I'm going to pull three cards from this deck for your love life. We're going to get a glimpse of what's going on in your love life. I'm going to pull you guys the an angel answer and then the an oracle. And then I'm going to jump into the tarot. I'm only pulling three tarot cards. So let me just jump in. I'm going to try to hurry up. So, what's going on in Aries' love life? Oh, as well, I got another message too. Aries, somebody um can't wait to see you. Somebody likes you, and they can't wait to see you. Yeah, so, what's going on in Aries' love life? We got separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. Yeah. So, Aries, you and your person or ex, you in separation. Aries, you could be single mid-August. And someone is missing you. Sadness. This person is thinking about you. Unsure of the future of your relationship. Yeah. And then we got soulmate. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, a soul contract. So this can definitely be a twin. It don't have to be Aries. This can also be a karmic. <clears throat> so somebody is thinking about you. It is a soulmate. It could be your twin or it can be a karmic soulmate. Um, yeah. Give me one more for Aries. And then we got the snake. Yeah. 
Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. Yeah. So I don't know, Aries, you could be in separation from your person because of a third party. Yeah, the other woman. Yep. So <clears throat> let me go ahead and pull you guys angel answer. Did I show y'all the card? The snake? Yeah. So what's Aries Angel answer for mid-August? August 15th to the 31st, 2021. What's Aries Angel answer mid-August 2021? What is Aries Angel answer? Okay, we have forgiveness. So forgiveness, let me read it. <coughs> forgiveness, that's the answer, Aries. Forgiveness can work miracles. When you release the past, a weight is lifted from your sh from your shoulders and a sense of freedom washes over you. Ask your angels to help you let go of sadness or pain caused by others so that you can so that you can be free. This card can also refer to a need for self for self-forgiveness. It's time to let go of any let me turn the page. <clears throat> of any guilt you are holding on to regarding past mistakes you have made give yourself credit for having tried your best even if the results weren't what you would have liked focus on the changes you've made since then that have made you a better person so this can be forgiving somebody else aries or self-forgiveness possibly even both but this is your answer for mid-august forgiveness <clears throat> So, what is Aries Oracle mid August 2021? What is Aries Oracle? Okay, we have money. Money. So, <clears throat> money. <laughs> All my finances are now in divine order. Love love itself knows your needs and is the source for all. You need it clean to gain or fear loss. Every need will be met through offering all to the divine. So, Aries, you could be having a little bit of money issues. Uh, you could be feeling uptight, anxious, worried about money. But it say every need will be met through offering all to the divine. So, give it all to the most high. Easier said than done. Okay, so what's going on with Aries? What can Aries expect mid-August? What's going on? Okay, Seven of Cups came out in reverse. So Aries, you could you could have water in your in your chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or you could be dealing with a water sign. Aries, you're coming, you or somebody else, Aries, is coming out of some type of illusion. Somebody could be letting go. If somebody had options in love, Aries, somebody is letting that go. I just heard somebody made up their mind. So seven of cups in reverse. This could be somebody making up their mind. So somebody's coming out of an illusion. Somebody could be making up their mind. Clarify the seven of cups in reverse. Okay, we got the king of pentacles. King of pentacles, Aries. You could have earth in your chart, Capricorn towards a Virgo. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Aries. Um, I don't know, Aries. If you that seven of cups, it's like you could have had options. Or Aries, you could have figured out how to become this King of Pentacles. Like you're no longer confused. You probably was confused, Aries, about how to um become stable, how to stabilize something. This could be you saving your money. Um, the King of Pentacles is very wealthy. The King of Pentacles is a good money manager, very responsible, very reliable. So, um, Aries, you could you could be coming up with a um. Some type of goal or, um, yeah, you probably, you, it's like you got a, um, how I want to say it, like a road map. <clears throat> it's like you got a, a, a plan step by step by step on how to obtain and become the king of pentacles. It's like, you know what to do now. You know how to do it. You know what to do. You know what your weaknesses are. You know what your strengths are. Cause it's like, you probably want to get yourself together financially. You probably want to be this king of pentacles. 
And it's like, you, yeah, you figure something out. Seven of Cups in reverse. Or Aries, if you the king of pentacles, it could be a water sign that chooses you. They choose you because you're the king of pentacles. Aries, if you a male watching this, this could be a female. Um, you know, that had multiple lovers, couldn't make up their mind, who they wanted, who they wanted to settle down, when they wanted to settle down. But it's like somebody come to their senses because they, some you know, some if this is you, Aries, it's like somebody view you as the king of pentacles. So it's like this person like, why wouldn't I choose Aries? Aries is stable. Aries is wealthy. Aries is trustworthy. I can rely on Aries. Yeah. So Aries, this King of Pentacles is either you or this is your, like uh, your goal. You want to be the King of Pentacles. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Yeah, the Three of Swords. Yeah, the Three of Swords. <clears throat> there's heartbreak or a third party this heartbreak this is like a disappointment this don't necessarily have to be like oh my person cheating on me no this is this could be some type of disappointment like three of swords somebody's disappointed it was a third party involved but it don't have to be in romance um <clears throat> When I'm picking up Aries, if you are this King of Pentacles, somebody probably was unsure about you because this is like a situation where it's like Aries, said like you a female. You the King of Pentacles, you and your masculine energy. You're very reliable. But this could be, if this is concerning career, it's like your job really don't want to promote you because you probably have like... um child like child care issues like you probably always got to leave work um it's hard for you to find a babysitter you're a good worker but it's like it's something about you that somebody or something don't like so it's like a third party it's like something annoying about you Aries and this if this is in career it's like your superiors it's like they know you a good worker but it's just like something about a third party so this could be you not having solid child care when you go to work or it's something you the king of pentacles Aries but it's something um a downside to it and it's probably unbearable to people So I don't know Aries you could be the king of pentacles you could be married Aries and it's like if you a male it's like it's like if you have a third party Aries and you a male, it's like this female like, it's like she settled for you. But it's like if she don't like the fact that you marry or something like that. So it's something as a third party, something like that going on. It's like this other, it's like the third party, they can't live without you. They can't live with you and they can't live without you. But you the king of pentacles. But it's something about you that is unbearable. Like people, this person or this job, they it's like they like, oh my god, yeah. So what's going? Oh no, wrong deck. What's going on with the seven of cups in reverse? What's going on with the seven of cups in reverse? Ooh, yeah, number fifty one. The lion presages presages a sudden shock from bad news. A sudden shot from bad news. Yeah, Aries, you or somebody else gonna get like some bad news. But I'm getting a reality check. It's like somebody was like under some type of illusion, not in reality. And it's like when somebody gets some bad news, they gonna snap back into reality. Like somebody gonna make their mind up real quick. Cause somebody gonna get some bad news. So all that confusion, not being able to make up their mind. Yeah. They'll make up their mind real quick when they get this bad news. Yeah. What's going on with the King of Pentacles? What's going on with this King of Pentacles? What's going on with this King of Pentacles? Yeah. <clears throat> Number 12. Children signify friendly disposition. A friendly disposition. Gentleness. Yeah. 
So, um, Aries, you can definitely, Aries, if you're a female watching this, you can, you could be this king of pentacles, and you, but you and your masculine energy and you have kids. If you a masculine, Aries watching this, that's what it could be. Aries, if you a masculine, it's like you probably married, but it's like your wife don't like the fact that you got kids by another woman. Yeah. So it's like either whether she got whether your wife got kids by you or not, Aries, if you a man, it's like she just hate the fact that you got a baby mother or several baby mothers. Yeah, that's what's going on. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But it's something to do with children. It's something to do with to do with children. Aries, if you a female, your job like you, but it's something about like you probably don't have um stable child care. Yeah. What's going on with uh the three of swords? What's going on with this three of swords? Yeah, number 18. This card represents the lady whose fortune is being told. Yeah. Yep. So. <sighs> I'm picking up a cross watcher. <clears throat> There's somebody cross watching. It's a female cross watching on Aries reading. And, um. Lady. <laughs> the female that's cross watching on Aries reading. You could be married to Aries, and Aries is this king of pentacles. And it's like, you could be married to this Aries. The cross watcher is married to Aries. Or, um, yeah, but Aries got uh, kids by other women. Yeah, it's a man, Aries. Yeah, and it's like, you know, like, y'all future is like, it's gonna, it's gonna always be this third party around. Because it's like, Aries got uh, um, kids by another woman. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Something like that going on. But I'm picking up number 18. This is a cross watcher. And it's a lady. Like her her um fortune is being told. Yeah. Um what's going on with the seven of cups coming out in reverse and number fifty one the lion? It's bad news. Yeah, communication. Somebody's going to get some communication. And um, this communication is bad news. Aries, for you or somebody else? Something is bad news. And it's like, as soon as somebody gets this bad news, they're going to make up their mind. Somebody's going to make up their mind real quick when they get this bad news. What's going on with the King of Pentacles and number 12, children? Yeah, numbing. Numbing. Yeah. Yeah, Aries. Somebody tired of you, Aries. Um, I don't know, Aries. You probably, because this card, this numbing card is um, like getting high. Somebody who gets high, and this is not weed. This is like some other stuff. Numbing, like crack, cocaine, heroin, meth. So, um, Aries, if you a man, you probably get high. You probably get high, and that's the three of swords. That's the third party. You could have addictions, Aries. If you're a female, you probably get high too, and that's still the three of swords. That's the third party. Whatever you get high on, somebody is annoyed as hell by that. They annoyed. Aries, you could have addictions that with that numbing. Also, Aries, if you're a male, you got a lot of tattoos, and somebody don't like that. It could be your job. It's like they like you, Aries, but it's like they probably be telling you to cover your tattoos up when you come to work and you don't. So it's like they like you as a worker, but they thinking about probably firing you. What's going on with the Three of Swords and number 18, the lady? What's going on with that? Yeah, received. Received? This received card to me in this deck is like a pregnancy. So, Aries, if you a man watching this, you could be married. And, um, it could be a woman coming back mid-August saying that you got her pregnant. And y'all probably do the, the paternity test and the baby is going to come back to be your baby. Or, 
every if you a male, you don't got a third party pregnant, and it's like you gotta tell your wife. You gotta tell your wife. Or Aries, if you a male watching this, it's like your main female or your wife is very intuitive. And she got this message. She already know Aries what you about. And she know that the third party gonna always be around. Aries, you probably still sleeping with your baby mother. And it's like your wife know that. She got that intuitively. She know. Yeah. Or she know you be getting high. What's the tea with the seven of cups coming in out in reverse? The tea with the seven. I got two minutes. What's the tea with the seven of cups coming in reverse? Okay, yeah, bankrupt. Yeah, somebody gonna get some bad news about some money. Yep. Aries, your person might get bad news. And, um, yeah, they might choose you because this person might get bad news that they're bankrupt. And then, you know, they're going to come back towards you because you the king of pentacles. Yeah, somebody going to get bad news. What's the tea with the king of pentacles? Aries, you or somebody else going to get bad news about money. Somebody's bankrupt. And it's like all of a sudden now the money messed up. Now it's like somebody got sent. It's like somebody snap out of it. Because the money, yeah, the money done got messed up. What's the tea with the King of Pentacles? Ooh. Okay, we got legal issues coming out in reverse. And then we have a spiritual hater. Okay. So, Aries, your love life, you dealing with a karmic. Yeah, this soulmate up here, this lover. Um, You got a karmic around you, Aries, whether work, love, or life. It's a karmic around you. And this person is um hating on you, Aries, maybe because you could have beat a case. You could have beat some type of case. Yeah, this could be a this could be a court case going on, Aries, and you might win this court case. In spite of your flaws, Aries, you might win a court case. Yeah. Cause there's a karmic around you. Okay, what's the T with the three of swords? And I gotta hurry up. What's the T with the three of swords? Yeah, lonely. Yeah, lonely. Yeah. Aries, if you a male watching this, um, your spouse is going to be lonely mid-August. They're going to be lonely. If you a female Aries watching this, this loneliness might be you. Um, but I'm going to end it here because the video is about to cut off. Um, thank you, Aries.